Hello! Here is the McLaren 720S and we're picking up where we left off from. Remember the headlights? They had a little kick on them going to the right hand side. <coughs> right, I need some water. Which in the UK is not allowed if you're permanently importing one of these cars because that blinds oncoming traffic. They need to have a kick to the left hand side. They're not manually adjustable. You can't do it despite a lot of emails saying that you can do it. You can't, we spoke to McLaren, it's impossible. So, I've been forced to buy UK spec headlights. 1,400 pounds from uh, SCB Breakers Yard. That I bought a lot of them, including mainly all the parts for this McLaren. So, legends for them, I'll put a link to them in the description. But I'm hoping we can sell ours for like 1,400 quid and we break even, at least. This car's going for an MOT test, which is like, a test in the UK to make sure the car is legal. And then after that, if it passes, it will go for an RVA test. Then we can permanently import it into the country and drive it on the roads. Let's fit this. We'll see if they work. This is a life hack. Look at this. Can't get your jack under your lowered car? Now you can. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so to get to the headlights, we've got to take the wheel off. Take the front arch lining out and then unbolt the headlight and slide it out backwards. I think so, if that's what I remember. We did build this whole car from the tub upwards, so you think we'd remember how to do a headlight. Oh! Bit of pebble dash in there from the X Stig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do we do it? Load of T20s. Am I going to enjoy this more than the Porsche? I think you might. You're Until like it tries to kill me. Oh, there it is! Look at that. Oh, oh my. <laughs> You're not selling them now. <laughs> I think it survived. Oh, so that is up and down adjust. And that is side to side adjust. The good thing about this, look how they are absolutely dashed up. I think what we're going to do, let's plug this one in and see if it works because we know what McLaren's are like with the electronics. Country European. Oh, and that must be country UK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I putting it in the old? It's plugged in. Yay! Hey! Is it working? <laughs> Look at that! It's gone off. Oh. It was working. Was it? Yeah. The battery's dead. Story of my yeah. life, batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sliding it in, guys. <laughs> you silly, any time then. Yes. Just like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we've done today? Put batteries on charge. <laughs> what car battery have you been putting on charge? Maserati. Rolls Royce. Oh, Rolls Royce. McLaren. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Here you go. Yeah! All oh, right, now it's gone off. It must work. The lights definitely work. What we've got to do is check the other side up, change that, Put the wheels on, park it in front of a garage door, and then get the the headlights aligned so they're perfectly flat. Wheel going on. Pit stop, McLaren, 1.8 seconds. I'm well excited to drive this car. We, we still haven't decided on the road trip for this car. This could be the Monaco car. Oh, it could be the Monaco car, couldn't it? Both headlights are in. We're going to make sure they are flat before we put all the arch liners in. Perfectly straight beam. To do so, we're going to do this. <laughs> Look! It works a lot. A lot. Left. And right. Hey, they don't have like the kick like last time. Do they? Oh, they do. They have got the kick. Look. Yeah. That should pass an MOT. Should. I'm about to go to Matt's because some people said that the discs, I think we'll call them discs, made the wheels look small. So what we've done, we've got some bigger discs and we're going to fit them without Matt knowing. Let's see when he notices. Why are you filming me? Making me look like I'm the culprit. <laughs> Here we go. It's MOT time. First time driving this in on the UK roads as well. And it's actually legally because we're going for an MOT and we've got our trade plates on. But this is going to be weird. Left hand drive driving on the left hand side of the road. Hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> this car's sick. It actually doesn't feel that bad driving on the left side. It handles so well. Do you know, don't it feel like it's just gliding on the road? It's literally on rails. You just turn the direction. It's so fun. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, we're going to have to get it warmed up because it's got sports caps and it's going to, there's going to be an emissions test when we're there as well. So it has to pass emissions and with the sports cats, they have like a higher flow than regular cats. So it's going to let a little bit more fumes out than usual, but it still should pass an MOT, providing they're the right temperature. So we're going to have to get it cooking a bit. 
That's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I used to work, my actual day job. Three years at Graham Goods, and we're coming back in the McLaren to get an MOT. Never did I think that would happen, but this is going to be pretty cool to see everyone. Hopefully they'll be nice to me because they used to work here. There's no reason why this shouldn't pass. If it doesn't pass, then we've, we've had it. Let's do it. This was my desk. Oh, I feel, my screen feels smaller. These are actually mine as well. Yeah. When I renewed my insurance and I've kept them here and they're still here. This lad had a name as well. Can't remember, can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original chair as well. That is the original chair, mate. Yeah, yeah original chair. I did this. <laughs> I did this as well. This uh, home screen thing. This is where I used to sit. Do you like it? How long ago was that? Four years to the day it about. Lock, it was lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah, lockdown. And then you went. Seems weird, like, just, uh, I used to come here every day and then sit here and not work on a car. But still no windows in there. Scammed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Jordan Portman, I didn't even know. <laughs> they look sick, I didn't even notice it just now. Look how much bigger the back wheel looks. Surprise. No way. So now the white trim is going all the way over so the wheels look a lot bigger. Thanks, George from Wheelmania for doing that because we just wanted the white lip just to go extra. We was going to paint the extra bit on the top to make it look like it was, but they designed and CAD drawed all up. It's that extra white lip, which now sits higher, which is wicked actually. Cheers, John. Yeah, boy. We got a pass. Which now means we're on to the next stage, which would be an IVA test. I don't know what it means. It sounds like some kind of surgery. Those wheel things look so much better. Finally, we can get our plate. And that means I can drive it on the road. Let's go back to the unit. The police are now behind us and I can 100, 1 million, 1000% guarantee we're going to get pulled. And the worst thing I've done, Matt, is we pulled into Foss Park when we were on trade plates. Well, I've got the MOT certificate, I've got my plate on the back. There they are. <laughs> this is just not ideal really, is it? And to be fair, we're in a bright turquoise McLaren. They are following us. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big fail now. Right, guys, we're keeping you with us, but we're just going to have to go undercover here. Right. I just saw you going. Oh, we're it's the, the was it him holding? Yeah, he was, was on his phone. Oh, it's the left side. side. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you. <laughs> we're sick of us. What have we done illegal? Yeah, yeah. I was like, what, what have we done? I was sorry, sorry, I was like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. No, I was sat there, I was on my phone. Because like... we're on the wrong side, yeah. Well, I recognise the power anyway. Hopefully for the right reasons. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, yes. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That makes sense. So Matt was on his phone, but he's on the right hand side of the car, and they thought I was on my phone because normally it's right hand drive, but it's not. So we pranked him, double prank. <laughs> we have a small problem it is a small one here's the garage from the last video if you've not seen the garage build it's still really cool i haven't shown you what we're doing next like to suss out the reason why uh we only have two cars in and we've got multiple but we think we have a plan for that now here's the problem if you check this out look at the rear lights they're red this, yeah, this rear light works. Why are they red? What do you mean, why are they red? Oh, it's a brake light. It's a side light. Right. So it's meant to be red. Okay. But by the time I get to the unit, it will go off. Why? It won't work. I don't know. <laughs> There's got to be a connection somewhere, but when it gets just, hot. Just that one, not the just other one. Just one, just one. When it gets hot, one light stops working. Okay. Luckily, it was working when we had the MOT, which is good, but... We've got to fix it. I guarantee when we get to the unit, that won't be working. The unit! So we're about halfway to the unit and... Oh, is it still on? I think it's still on. Yeah, still works. The time spent rebuilding this car is 100% worth it. It is absolutely unreal. Let's see, though, that light is off. This, it's nuts, this car. I love it. Have a look. Yeah. It's gone. Okay. That is an issue. Maserati out. 
Russell's old Rolls Royce. We're getting onto that. You'll see it in the main kind of video. But first, we've got to get this out. Let's get it out. We've got to air it up. <laughs> 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 in the arch iron has got to come out to get to this rear light wiring a thing i'm hoping it's not going to be an absolute nightmare also have you seen this air up it's water in a bottle but is it really low because it's not because it actually tastes like whatever pod i put in it like now wild berry so with that in like i can i can take it off it tastes like water it tastes like water a bit boring put that on tastes like wild berry it's crazy it sounds mental but it's actually pretty cool if you're trying to drink more water but don't necessarily like the taste of it and find it a bit boring like me then this is like pretty good to do like do you know like for kids as well if they go to school they just don't like the taste of water all you do is just take these like pods out oh chocolate orange oh this one's going to be a bit bizarre i think chocolate orange water that that is the weirdest thing because i'm still drinking water so i know it's like healthy for me and good and i know i'm trying to get all this water in my system. But now I've got like different flavors throughout the day just while changing these pods, which is actually mental. Let's see if my dad can guess the flavor. I'm gonna give him bubble gum. Fruity, red fruity. <laughs> Thinks it's fruity, but it's just water. That's the thing, that's the crazy thing. I'll give you a hint, bubbles. Bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> it's bubble gum. All oh, right. Yeah, it's bubble gum. Nice and healthy, take it to the gym as well. So. I can still drink water, but I've still, I've got my little flavor on it as well. It's cool. I suggest you guys to try it out. Definitely this spring and summertime, if you're trying to get more water in your system without it being boring, you can do that with Air Up. And there's a link in the description with a discount code for it as well. Go try it out and tell me how much more fun it is drinking water. It is fun, isn't it? How much fun are you having? <laughs> oh great can they have another flavor try that yeah. <laughs> do you know what i like it in this mclaren as well you know what i found out on the way here get your phone straight in there good that isn't it great <laughs> it's like a kangaroo pouch <laughs> hey it's kind of australian isn't it oh, yeah, the McLaren McLaren logo. it's a kiwi isn't it so it's australian it's got a kangaroo pouch in the seat <laughs> What was that? Arch lining coming out. Arch lining out. The plug for the light is up there. I think there's a repair under this which might not be good. There's only four wires going to it, so we should be able to work out which one's got the bad connection and which one is the side light. My dad did this fix, so we're gonna let him fix it again, I think. I'm gonna go to Manchester Let's go get some bits for the Rolls Royce, which we'll see in the main channel video as well. Quite interesting, actually. Can I just say as well, I'm not actually out it on this, on this channel. First off, everyone has been so helpful with repairing that Rolls Royce. Let me just show you this guy. Let me just show you this guy. I want to see what everyone thinks of it. It's, it's messaged me on Instagram saying, I've got the mirror. He's got the mirror cap, not the mirror, just the mirror cap from that Rolls Royce, Rafe, you picked it up from the accident, okay? Off the side of the road? Off the side of the road, yeah? <laughs> yeah. He's put it on Instagram multiple times, tagged me, I messaged him, I was like, oh, cool, man, that sound, any chance I could come grab it? It's just a cap, yeah, it just saved me like, what, 60 quid from Rolls Royce for a mirror cap. Did he want something? He wants money. Old wet, old there, old right. there, okay. <laughs> roll up, roll up. I wasn't joking, generally got Rash's mirror cover Will Matt Armstrong be the first to snap it up for the role league? Car Carrington obtained this, okay? <laughs> so he's listed it on eBay for me to buy. How um, much? What? <laughs> <laughs> Look, and he's fully gone in, listed it, he's put the car on there. <laughs> it's a mirror cap. It is a mirror cap. These are £75 plus VAT from Rolls Royce. <laughs> That is, I feel like I'm being trying to take advantage of. Not only Mansoura are trying to, like, well, like Mansoura is expensive, but now I've got to pay a premium because he's found it on the side of the road. £999 he wants for this mirror cap, which is scuffed. I commented saying, I can buy a brand new mirror cap from Rolls Royce for £75 plus VAT. Good luck with the sale, mate. Oh, <laughs> 
Wait, hey! <laughs> it's a bit of a wind up. You can have it for a shout out on your page. What? So why has he listed it for £999? <laughs> this is just abysmal. A lot of people are helping me, but he's not helping me, is he? He's trying to take advantage. <laughs> I ain't paying £999 for a mirror cap. There's my repair, and what's up with all of them? All good and sound. I wonder if the wire's broken further down near the exhaust. Oh, that means we're a quarter off. <gasps> oh, so now it's working. What did you do? It, it's cold, it's gone cold. When it goes cold, it works. And as soon as it gets warm, it stops working. And I'm really pulling on that. Oh, oh. yeah, look, it's flickering. It must be that connection. What, 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 no, there, another break in the wire. Oh. Further up. <laughs> oh, further up? Further up the loom. When I move it here, there. Oh, yeah. So it's on that. Odd, isn't it? it? Must be very small little pinch, but that's the issue when building these cars like this, which had a full, absolute wipe out of the back. You have been dissing me because you thought it was my repair. No, actually, I weren't dissing you. No, but, but the cameraman but yeah, the camera man has. The yeah. cameraman has. <laughs> the cameraman has. <laughs> Who forgot to put the ground on for the RS6? We don't know. Fred Air. <laughs> <laughs> I hate wiring. There's going to be another way eventually, isn't there? Because wiring's heavy, it's prone to problems like well, that's this. That's why they're doing fi fibre optic, isn't it? But then the only thing is fibre optic is that it's like, it can, it's very delicate, isn't it? What's fibre optic? Glass, isn't it? Glass? It's like a glass. Well, oh, that's going like to be a plastic. Sort of there, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's a plastic, but clear, isn't it? And the light, and the, it can go through it. Who's with that? <laughs> <laughs> Putting a bit of electrical tape around my repair. Big moment. Let's plug it back in. There it is. <laughs> it's on. Now, you need to now we need to like have a little warm up, don't we? Check it out. That is done. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you this week on the Rolls Royce on the main channel. See you then, bye, 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 peace out.